Mass Pam Tea Garden service. Pam Tea Garden and Janet Newberry, both very fine doubles players. Pam was a winner of the mixed doubles here at the U.S. Open last year with U.S. O with sorry with Jeff Masters. She's been ranked number two in doubles in the United States for three years in a row. Two years ago with Janet Newberry, last year with Mona Shalal. King and Casals have been playing doubles together for a long time. They started in 1965, I believe, back when Rosie was about three years old. Scores. Great point. King Casals. They lead four games to two per set. Pam and Janet went on and broke Billie Jean right back due to some volleying errors on Billie Jean's part and some good returns to serve from the young ones. Overhead by Casale. That mob is out. This is the first time Billie Jean's played in the 1975 U.S. Open. Rosie graced us on the courts a few days ago and did not do, play her spectacular finest, losing to Marina Kroshina in the first round. Rosie uh, says now she prefers to play team tennis than to play regular tournaments, and especially not on clay, she says. At 15 all. Score is 15 all now. The game score, King and Casals lead four games to two. Billy Jean serving. By the way, there are tickets available for tomorrow's session, Sunday, here at the U.S. Open and on Labor Day, Monday. Room for you. Pam Garden returning serve. Volley is out from Billie Jean. Again, under pressure on her own serve due to some volleying errors. She's, Billie Jean becomes more dramatic every year. Actually, I saw her in practicing the other day. She was talking on every shot she hit, kidding, giggling, yelling. Practicing with Virginia Wade, trying to help out her New York sets teammates. That's Janet Newberry's weakness, her forehand. She's an extremely fine volleyer with a most unusual straight drawn back backhand ground stroke, which is very lovely. She seems to be very quick at the net. She had some injuries last year and needed a, a great boost. Out. 40, Another 30. good point. <laughs> Janet ate a little bit by the net there. Neither Janet nor Billie Jean comes for their curls na naturally. Machine aided curls. Today's a good day to lose them. Very humid early in the day, and now it got very cool and windy. Oh, yeah, it's fine, Molly. Fine overhead by Pam Teagarden. Should point out that he's not next to us while you say that. <laughs> it's great tennis on this course, isn't it? Might get your comments you like the surface? on how you like, like the surface. It. Do you I'd, like it? It's uh, a lot different than, than the grass course. All, you have all the rallies and, and a lot of uh, a lot of great points out here now. I, I do like it. I think I like it a little better than the, than the grass that they had. It's, it took a while for me to uh, get adjusted to looking off the balcony in the men's locker room and seeing grass, grass, and then the clay courts. But uh, it's, very, it's very interesting. I enjoy playing on the clay, and, and I think it's going to be a great Forest Hills. How do you think you play on clay, Jimmy, compared to grass or cement or a faster surface? I've learned a lot in the last uh, year, year and a half, I think, from uh, just 
playing and practicing with Nastas, even my patience has become uh, a little better. And I think for me to play on clay, that's what it takes. I think uh, the first two rounds that I played here at Forest Hills, I was very pleased. And if I keep progressing like that, then I can't be any happier than that. You should be pleased. I saw you play. <laughs> Thank you. This is set point we're watching right now. Right. Five games, three, King and Casals. Even Pammy smiled at herself <laughs> making that one. It'd be interesting uh, to know, if, wonder if Billie Jean and, and Rosie, if they'd like to play. I think they won all their doubles on the, on the grass of Forest Hills and Wimbledon. And you know, the, in the third round of Forest Hills, if you know, every round these days is quite tough. And if you pass two rounds, then you have to look out for everybody. But you know, for me, every time I go out and play on a clay court surface, you know, I have to concentrate and work as hard as I can. It's, very different for me, but I'm loving it. I think you were quoted as saying there is no defending champion. Not really, not here. I think uh, everybody comes here as a challenger for me, in particular since I won on grass last year. And to come here and play on the clay, and it's just like a new beginning for everybody. So it's a clean slate. Everybody's working hard. Working hard right now. A lot of noise out on that court out there. Two doubles teams. Score right now is Deuce. In the second set, the first game, King and Casals lead one set to love. Janet Newberry serving. Ball's out. Janet Newberry elected to go down Billy Jean's alley. Basically, you got two choices. You can go directly cross court on a volley when you're coming in in doubles or try and pass somebody clean down the alley. Janet's still in the singles here. I think she's the only one on the court who is. Service break. First set score was 6-3. Casal. Rosie Casal is a mighty midget. She's not very tall. She's about five foot one, but she really packs a lot of power under a serve. Watch how she gets her legs under the ball. Really gets her shoulder way back. Comes up and on that ball. She missed an easy smash and has a big grin at Pam Teagarden. Playing a lot of defensive volleying here in doubles. She and Billie Jean are just trying to take over the net and set up any kind of a volley so that the other two have to lob over them. They're just going to try and get the volley back. One of the best clay court teams in the world, Francoise Dior and Betty Stove do a lot of that, just to get the volley back a lot. <laughs> and now you see why they set it up for the smash. They took it over. Let's look at that again, Julie. Here are some of those lobs. Well, that's when they'd finally set it up. Pam had to lob off her back, and look how Rosie jumps. She really has the power pack there. Janet, lucky to get the racket on the ball, and Billie Jean just plugging it down her alley. Now we're back live. Two games to love. Pam Teagarden seems to have changed her serve, possibly for the better, but it certainly is a strange-looking action now, a little bit in the back. She doesn't really uh, bend her arm when she's serving. Have a look at, at, the, at the serve during the wind-up. Her wrist should be behind her neck, but instead it's way out. See how far away it was then? It seems to have helped her. It's something to help her rhythm. Pam Garden served not with a lot of power, but she usually gets in very well. Gets in on top of the net for her really fine volley. She's really one of the best volleyers. Not a lot of power in a ground chokes. Yes. Back to deuce we go. Game score is love two. She really ought to be following her serve to the net. She's a little silly to be standing back. First serve in and up to the net is what she ought to do, but she's not. Stay and her serve's been broken a couple of times because of it. Janet moved back. <laughs> Janet Newberry's weakness, her forehand, faces the net a little bit puts her elbow into her side. Not really the best way to hit a forehand. And now they're down break point. It's already love two. This is action in the second set. 
<laughs> yeah. Don't have to say too much about that, I guess. You heard from BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Met together. Billie Jean's knees, they might be bad, but usually they're still working. She's been bending low well. Out nice smash by Janet Dubé. Olga Morozova. A fantastic win for Pam Teagarden. So Was not playing well early in the year, and now she's really bombing. She and her doubles partner, Janet Newberry, both remain in singles. What a retrieve there by Janet. The racket. There come the dramatics. It's going to be good. Doesn't really matter. Ran right into the ball that time. Girls look like they're having a good time, don't they? <laughs> I certainly hope so. <laughs> we had a little conflict of interest there. Both Newberry and Teagarden wanted to take that uh, the log. Everybody would expect that King and Casals would win this doubles match. They've been one of the finest doubles teams in the world for a long time, even on clay. They're both only interested in the doubles now. Neither is playing singles. Rosie lost, and Billie Jean isn't playing. Jimmy Connors is laughing. I want to know why he's laughing. <laughs> What's Trabert doing? Uh, well, there's a lady on the courts responsible for that, isn't it? No, I think it's a good idea. Keep peace among the families, you know? That lady on the court you mentioned <coughs> responsible, of course, is Billie Jean King. Score is 40-15 now. The action's in the second set. Three games to one. King Casals lead. They won the first set 6-3. Just out. Mm -hmm. Brought the top of the net. <laughs> Been going to acting school. <laughs> I think since Billie Jean's not playing much singles anymore, I think she's starting to enjoy her tennis a lot more. Which is quite a good idea. She sure finished on a strong note at Wimbledon, didn't she? Oh boy. If you go, that's the way to go, I guess. She said it was her last tournament. Then by winning the single, that's, I think I'd stay in retirement, too. Oh, she doesn't like this call at all. I thought it was out, and I so did, did all the others, especially the lineswoman. Pat Ingersoll is the lineswoman. I have to admit, I thought it was out, but that doesn't mean I can really see it from this angle. <laughs> Advantage, Newberry. Score in this game is 30 love. One of the great points of this match has been Rosie Casals smashing. She's been jumping up for the ball. She says she hates to play under windy conditions, and yet even with the wind, she's been smashing beautifully from anywhere on the court. Good luck. Into the wind. <laughs> Pam Teagarden serving here. 2-4 down the second set. Ball's out. Should have taken her time a little bit more on her forehand, I believe, there. Air conditioning feels good. Hmm. Good return by Billie Jean King there. And Pam was a little slow getting in after a service. Love 30, 
Two four down the second set. It's a big game here for T Garden and Newberry to stay in the second set. Not a very good time for a double fault. I've always asked the question, is there ever a good time for a double fault? <laughs> when is a good time? <laughs> Not really. Not really any time is good. Oh, great shot for Billy Jean. between the overheads of Casals and King and of Newbury and Teagarden is that Casals and King have been much more able to angle them off. I noticed the last two times she served, something she th seems to think is wrong with the ball. These are different balls, I'm told. What's different about it? These balls are made for grass court play normally, which means they don't fuzz up at much, but they're really the same tennis balls. No heavier? Whoa! No heavier, no lighter. If you play on clay for a long time, the balls get a lot of grit in them, and then they feel heavier. And the grass court balls should get less grit in them than clay court balls, supposedly, because they have less fuzz on them. 40-15. 40-15, and here is match point. The number four seeded doubles team of King and Casal about ready to advance to the second round. In her first activity at Forest Hills this year, Billie Jean King makes it a winning effort, joining Rosie Casals to advance to round two in women's double. 